ولتكن منكم أمة يدعون إلى الخير يأمرون بالمعروف وينهون عن المنكر وأولئك هم المصلحون Let there arise from you a group that call to all of that which is khair. They enjoin that which is good, good, and they forbid that which is evil. And indeed, they are the ones who will be successful. The manhaj of Ahlul Sunnah and from the khasais of this ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam is the enjoining of good and the forbidding of evil. Don't speak ill about the people. Don't refute. Don't tell the people off. Leave them alone. Allah will question you. Allah will question them. Then how do you understand when the Prophet ﷺ said, Indeed, you will enjoy the good and you will forbid the evil. He commanded Umar ibn Khattab, You will enjoy the good and you will forbid the evil. This is from the khasais from the particular characteristics of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu and even more so the Salafiyun, Ahlul Hadith, Ahlul Athar, Ahlul Sunnah. This is what Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala has commanded in the Quran. So they are our friends or family. If they are your family, advise them. If they are your friends, advise them. Either they're going to take your advice or they're going to reject it. If you want to bring them to Abu Hakim, Abu Idris, Abu Khadija, Uwais, Abdul Ilah, if they want to travel, go to the Mamlaka and speak to the Mashaykh of Medina. Go and see Sheikh Abdullah Bukhari. Go and sit with the students of Sheikh Rabi and Sheikh Ubaid. Listen to the recordings that have been recorded from Sheikh Rabi and the narrations that have come from Sheikh Rabi advising you not without proof, we don't blindly follow. Not even Shaykh Rabia. Not Bin Baz. We don't blindly follow. This is based upon the fitna that this man has caused and those who follow him. And if you want to know a person, look at his companions. Look at the companions of Muhammad bin Hadi. This Khalid Abdul Rahman who accused Shaykh Rabi and the Mashaykh of Medina, the scholars of Shaykh Rabi and the scholars of Medina, he said. This is Khalid Abdul Rahman who they raise as one of their scholars. That Shaykh Rabi and these scholars, they're upon the manhaj of the Khawarij, he said, in these issues of Nawazil and speaking about country. He said, they're upon the manhaj of the Khawarij. This is the speech that you make against, if you are going to make that speech against the defenders of the Sunnah, if this is the accusations you're going to make against Ahlul Hadith and the Salafi Imams and scholars, then who's left? Then comes Ahmed Bazmul supporting him in that speech. Then all of those come out the woodwork surrounding Muhammad bin Hadi. You look at those who are around him, same kind of speech, shatam and sub, cursing and reviling Ahlul Sunnah as if no one else is left. So our reason for detaching ourselves from them is to protect ourselves from falling into those sins that they have fallen into into that facade and corruption of dividing the ranks of Ahlul Sunnah. That's why most of the Salafis, most of Ahlul Sunnah took the advice of the scholars of Medina and they remained united. Where are they in the UK? Where's their masjid? You know of one? Do they have even one masjid? One markaz? Why? Because they're just fringe elements. Not a single, that's why they're booking schools and I don't know, venues and wedding halls and conference centers. Where's your efforts? Where's your books? Where's the books that you've taught? You want to come to England. You want to come to Britain. You want to go to the east coast of the US. You want to go to Toronto and elsewhere and spread your facade. Where's your marakis? Where's your masajid? Where's your ta'lifat? Where's your books? Where's your rudud against atheism and against homosexuality? and the LGBT, where's your rudud against the Rafida, against the Ash'ariya, against the Jahmiya? Where's your teaching of Kitab al-Tawheed, Qawaid al-Arba, Usul al-Sitta, Usul al-Thalatha, Sharh al-Sunnah, Usul al-Sunnah, Umdat al-Ahkam, Balugh al-Maram, where's your teaching? And we'll show you where ours is. Thousands and thousands of lectures. There's the fruits of our da'wah. You come for three days and you disappear. That's your da'wah. Other than that, it's just shatam and sub 
attack and namima and ghiba and slander accusing this one of adultery accusing that one of being a fasiq stop making tatabba who are you to follow up the sins of others that they do in private even if it is true which it wasn't because if it was true and you could establish it bring your four witnesses that Allah commands in the Quran that you accuse a salafi da'i of being a fornicator and then you refuse to take it back and the judge commands you take it back you don't have witnesses fear Allah and you still don't take it back two years go by and you don't take it back four years go by and your audio is still out there and you still haven't taken it back and then you want to teach others about humility and humbleness that's okay is it to accuse someone like that so tomorrow they come and accuse you and Abu Khadija doesn't stand and defend you and Abu Hakim doesn't deep stand and defend you someone openly on the microphone accuses you of zina without four witnesses who saw the act with their eyes without barrier four just Muslims they didn't see it no one can accuse you and this man goes and accuses so the judge says take it back take it back fear Allah just end this take it back apologize Sheikh Ubay tells him apologize take it back take it back show some damn humility you can't bring the proof leave the issue say astaghfirullah wa atubu ilayya ya akhi forgive me shaitan got the better of me leave the issue Where's your humility and humbleness? And all of these people rotating around him. Our Sheikh Muhammad bin Hadi, our Sheikh, our Sheikh. This is your Sheikh. Go and ask Sheikh Rabi. You know him better than Sheikh Rabi. You know him better than Ubaid. That's why I said at the beginning, I said, listen, if he doesn't want to take from Sheikh Rabi, he doesn't want to take his advice. He doesn't want to take it from. The, uh, Sheikh Ubaid he doesn't want to take it from Abdullah Bukhari he doesn't want to take it from us he doesn't want to take it from anyone take your recording and play it to Sheikh Al-Fawzan Bas. just play it Sheikh I just want to play you something that I said in Medina in the masjid that was packed and this audio has gone around the world I don't know how many times yeah Sheikh what, what's your advice I'm going to play it to you let's see what Sheikh Al-Fawzan says Luhidan was alive. Rahimahullah. Why didn't you take it to the Qadi of the Mamlaka? The head of the judiciary. The Sheikh Al-Allama. Al-Luhidan. You didn't do it. Rahimahullah. You could have done it, Muhammad bin Hadi. And your followers could have done it. You don't have to say, Ya Sheikh, what do you say about Muhammad bin Hadi? You don't have to do any of that. Just to get, well, maybe if we ask enough times and enough people, one of them will praise Muhammad bin Hadi. That's not the issue. The issue is judgment. Play the tape to Ubaid, to, to Fawzan, and to Luhidan, or to the Mufti, or to the Lajna. This is what I said, yeah, Mashaykh. Correct me if I'm wrong. What's your nasiha? If you did it, show us where you did that. Followers, all of these masakeen running around that probably don't amount to more than a dozen or two. Thousands of Salafis have taken the correct mawqif. What are you waiting for? Don't allow them to infiltrate your families. Don't allow that to happen. Give them nasiha. Warn them of the dangers of this type of behavior. One of the children of the Sahaba, one child of the Sahaba, the son of Ibn Umar, he said, I will prevent the women folk from the mosques, from the masajid. Ibn Umar said, Allah's Messenger وسلم, said, do not prevent the, the women from the houses of Allah. Do not prevent the slaves of Allah from the houses of Allah, the female slaves of Allah. He said, as for me, I will prevent them. So he said, I narrate to you what Allah's Messenger وسلم, said and you still say that you're going to prevent them? Don't ever talk to me again. Never spoke to his son again. That's Ibn Umar. Why? Because one hadith, you heard what I told you. It's Ibn Umar telling you. 
I'm narrating to you from Allah's Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam because I heard Rasulullah say that. And you're saying, as for me, I'm going to prevent them. And Allah's Messenger said, don't prevent them from the mosques. Abu Thalib al-Khushni, same thing when they were throwing the pebbles. He said, I told you Allah's Messenger said, don't throw pebbles. Because they don't know anything. They don't catch game. You don't kill an animal. All they do is take out an eye or injure. And you still throw? Don't talk to me again. What they did in opposition to the hadith of Allah's Messenger وسلم, is nothing compared to what this man has done. And what his followers defend him in. This manhaj of haddadiyya Whoever doesn't agree with me, they are Ahlul Ahwa. They are nothing but Ashab Hawa. Abandon them. Don't talk to them. Don't speak to them. That's what he was saying, Muhammad ibn Hadi. Sheikh Rabi was saying, stop. Sheikh Ubaid was saying, stop. These are our students that you're talking about. These are people of knowledge. These are graduates. These are students. Stop this splitting. Did he stop? No, that's where arrogance, hubris, pride gets you. 